Hello everyone, I'm Greg Funderburg and I'll be your host on this magical journey in partnership with Artsville called Imagine. Through Imagine, we will introduce you to the arts through performances and exhibits through a whole bunch of cool local arts organizations right here in Chattanooga and Hamilton County. In each of these videos, you will get an opportunity to see inside and behind the scenes at all of these wonderful arts organizations from visual arts, music, dance, theater, and more. So you can experience them like never before. Today, we'll be exploring the Chattanooga Symphony and Opera, also known as the CSO. The mission of the Chattanooga Symphony and Opera is to inspire, engage, and enrich the greater Chattanooga community through music and music education. So come along with us as we experience the arts here in our community. Hello there, my name is Ismael Sandoval and I'm the assistant conductor for the Chattanooga Symphony and Opera. You might remember me from our first Imagine video where we talked about the different fun rhythms or musical patterns that a symphony orchestra can play. Well, today we will learn more about the orchestra and hear a special concert performance by the Chattanooga Symphony and Opera. The orchestra is set up in a half circle around a conductor. We use the shape so that the sound travels forward towards the audience, like a huge speaker. Today, we will get to hear what it sounds like when all of the instruments get to play together. Do you remember how the different instruments are seated in the orchestra? The string family sits at the very front of the orchestra. Then the woodwind family sits behind them. And then the brass family sits behind them. And then the percussion family sits all the way in the back or sometimes to the side of an orchestra. As a conductor, I stand in front of everyone and help to guide the music and the musicians with my baton. In order to start the music, a conductor breathes together with everyone and the music making begins when their hands come down. It looks like this. I use my baton to show how loud or soft an orchestra should play by making my movements big or small. I can go big for loud, I can go small for soft. I can also control how slow or fast the orchestra plays by moving at different speeds. I can go slow, I can go fast. I can go slow, I can go fast. In order to help guide everyone in the music, I use something called a musical score, which tells me what every instrument is playing throughout the piece of music. It's kind of like reading a really fancy instruction manual that tells you where everything goes and how to put it all together. Did you know that you can be a part of today's performance with the orchestra? You can play with us at home with some of your homemade instruments. If you don't have any homemade instruments, look around your room right now and see if you can find uh, two pencils that you can use as drumsticks to play some rhythms with us. The first piece of music that we will play is a waltz by a composer named Johann Strauss Jr. His music was so popular in Europe that countries all over the world still perform his music. Do you remember what the waltz rhythm sounds like? It sounds like this. Join me in playing this fun rhythm. Um pa pa, um pa pa, um pa pa, um pa pa, um pa pa. The waltz that we will be performing today is called Voices of Spring. It is an exciting piece of music where the melody or the patterns of notes that make a tune represent all of the animals and the plants that come out to play when winter is finally over and it is now springtime. Listen out for the waltz rhythms and for how the orchestra will play loudly and softly at times. Feel free to play along with us or you can close your eyes and imagine dancers prancing all around a beautiful stage. Get ready, let's begin.
Isn't that a fun song? Next we have a piece of music by a good friend of mine and wonderful composer named Andres Ballesteros. He wrote this music with the help of a group of young students in Massachusetts who were around your age and were also learning about the orchestra as well as how to write music. This piece of music is proof that you can be a composer at any age. You should try it sometime. The piece that Andres and the students wrote is called Voz de Chelsea, which is Spanish for Voices of Chelsea. This music features the clave rhythm, which if you remember from our first video, is a fun rhythm that has a pattern of three long notes and two short notes. It sounds like this. Join me if you know it. Grab your pencils and play them like the clave instrument, which is where the rhythm gets its name. Ready? Enjoy our performance of this exciting music and see if you can spot all the times that the clave rhythm shows up throughout. Get your sticks ready so you can play with us.
next in our performance, we will play music from a famous opera called Carmen, which was written by French composer Georges Bizet. An opera is a large piece of music that uses singers and an orchestra to tell a story. The story of Carmen takes place in Spain in 1830 and has bullfighters, soldiers, and so much more. Our performance features three movements, or three different sections of music, separated by a bit of silence, and they all represent different characters. The first and the last movements represent the toreadors, or the bullfighters, and they're very march-like and proud. The second movement represents Carmen, the main character of the opera, who is singing about how mysterious love can be. This music features the habanera rhythm, which sounds like this. While you listen to our last song of the concert, try closing your eyes and imagining what the characters might be doing as you hear the different music. Pay particular attention to the trumpet in the very back and listen to how it sings beautifully, like an opera singer on stage. Ready to make some music? Here we go!
Thank you for joining us on this musical adventure in rhythms. I hope you enjoyed the music and that you learned something today. Hopefully we've inspired you to listen to more great music and maybe even to learn how to play an instrument or how to write music. From all of us here at the Chattanooga Symphony and Opera, thank you and see you soon. Bye. Bye. What a great trip we took today. Be sure to share your journey today with your friends and family and join us right here next time for an exciting local arts adventure.